One of my favorite things about the Steam Controller was the option to have virtual menus pop up when you put your thumbs on the trackpads. It allowed you to play so many games that otherwise wouldn't be playable on a controller. So needless to say, I was very excited when Valve announced the Steam Deck and it had those two trackpads there. I knew that we were gonna be able to use that to do some very, very powerful things. But then when Valve sent me my review unit for the Steam Deck, I was a little disappointed to see that not all of the virtual menu stuff had made it across to SteamOS 3.0. Well, fast forward, and with the beta release of uh, SteamOS on the Steam Deck as of the 15th of September, we now have all of the stuff that we used to have with the radial menus on the Steam Controller, and it works even better than it did before. Okay, so I've got Guild Wars 2 running on the Steam Deck and I've got the beta channel, which gives me access to the new set for virtual menus. Let me show you how that actually works. It is really cool. So first off, down here on the bottom left, we now have a second section for uh, virtual menus, which is awesome. If you click on that, it's gonna bring up any virtual menus that you have made for whatever particular game that you're looking at. You can easily get to them there without having to go through all of the other menus in order to get there. Um, so if I open up this virtual menu right here and I look at what I have, first off, I have no center radial menu button. What that means is that I can't actually do anything with the middle of the trackpad. And I did this on purpose because I, fe I feel that it feels a little bit better if I can only go to the edge. So let me bring that up uh, right here. You can see that I've got that and I can go right around the edge, but if I try and go to the middle, it just does not work. And I like that a lot. Now, as I bring this up, you can see that I've got labels for stuff. I have icons for stuff, which is absolutely fantastic. Let me show you how we set that up by adding a new menu to this menu. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up my Steam button. I'm gonna come over to here and I'm gonna come down here and I'm gonna add a new virtual menu entry. I'm gonna click on that and I'm going to select M because that's gonna bring up my map. Over here, I can do an icon and I'm going to select that icon right there for the, no, not that one. I can't quite see what I'm doing. There we go, uh, for the map. And you can even select what color you want. Now, I usually just leave them all the same, but I'll switch this one out just for uh, illustration purposes. So now it's got like a black, actually I'll, go, I'll do like a blue background. So it's definitely different. And I'm gonna come down to done. If you don't like that, you can reset it to system colors. And you can see that now that's going to have like a blue icon there. Uh, I'm going to back out. And now when I bring up my menu, you can see that that one is blue with a yellow and it just says M. So let's bring it back up and I'm going to head back down to that virtual input. I'm gonna click on the gear icon here and under uh, there, I'm going to hit rename command. We'll type in map. And now it is all set up so that when I mouse over it, or I guess touch over it, I don't know what the, the phrasing would be. It says map. And you can see that I've got all of these on here. Now, what other options do we have? Well, first off under that virtual menu, I'm going to, oh, I didn't mean to do that. Under that virtual menu, uh, what I can do is I can change how big or how small the display is so I've just made that a whole whole lot smaller and now when I bring it up it's tiny I don't like that because it's a fairly small screen to begin with so I'm gonna crank it all the way up uh, I could just use the d-pad for this and I find that this is a lot easier for me to see exactly what I'm doing I do kind of like that color especially at the top because then you could like some, something is pink and it would automatically like, okay, yes, that's the thing I'm looking for instead of necessarily looking for an icon. All right, so we can do that. We can also change the location of the menu. So if I want, I can put it over uh, in the middle of the screen and let's bring it up now. You can see now it's in the middle of the screen. It might be, maybe I don't want it at the bottom. Maybe I want it up higher. Well, I could go in there and I could change the vertical position uh, oh, that might be, I might have to change the vertical. Oh, it didn't actually change. Here, we'll change the vertical position that way. 
There, now I moved it up. It doesn't make sense to me that the left is up and the right is down, but you know, whatever makes sense. Uh, I mean, it doesn't really matter either way. We will learn it. You can change the opacity uh, to make it either easier to see through or all the way dark. I'm gonna decrease the opacity. So now it's much easier to see through. I don't really like that because when I bring up that menu, I wanna be able to see exactly what those things are. So I'm gonna crank it all the way up to 100%. And now it's much easier to read what I'm looking at here, which I think that that's really good. Um, you can also change the haptics. I have the haptics on high so that every time I go from one menu item to the next menu item, there's a little pop uh, from underneath that trackpad, which makes it easier for me to feel like, oh, yep, I'm on the right thing. I'm gonna click and it's going to bring up my inventory. Now, let me go ahead and close my inventory. I could also close my inventory using that same thing. Uh, and I'm going to add a middle button. Now, like I said before, I don't really like a middle button. So I'm, why am I doing it? I'm doing it just to illustrate something to you. I'm gonna have that Ill, uh, middle button be the escape key. And we'll go into here and I'll find a, a menu and maybe maybe that's the escape button right there. So I'm gonna hit done. And now when I go back here, if I open up say my hero panel or whatever, I wanna close it, instead of making sure that I come down here to hero panel, I can just go to the middle and hit escape. Personally, I prefer not to have that button there, so I'm going to remove that command and that's gonna show you how to remove a command. All you gotta do is go to the gear icon and remove a command. So for instance, um, I could remove this command to go to party and I can remove it and now it's no longer there and it shows what we have. All right, let's look at general. Under general, notice that I have my radial menu button type to be release. You have a couple of op options here. You can either have it fire off the input when you hit, when you click your trackpad in, or you can have it to when you click and release or when you do a touch release, or you can have it just constantly sending that input the whole time that you've got your finger over that menu. Now, continuous, I honestly can't think of a reason that I would want to have that, so I've never actually used that. Um, I've tried touch release, I feel like it, it gives you spurious inputs too often, and uh, I've tried click and I've tried release. For me, I find that release is the best one. And here's the reason why. Sometimes when you're playing a game, you might accidentally bring up the menu and you might actually click. Now I have, I've pushed down on this, but it's not actually firing it, firing it off. So maybe I didn't mean to click right there, which means I didn't mean to bring up my map. Uh, and maybe I actually meant to bring up like my hero panel. So if I have clicked, I can just move my finger around until I get to the hero panel and then release and bring up the proper uh, menu that I'm looking for. Okay, let's switch over and look at a different style of menu. Before we get to the next menu type that's in the new UI, I want to mention that I am a Humble Bundle partner. If you don't know what that means, it basically means that if you use my link to buy games through Humble Bundle, and that's Steam games usually, at really deep discounts, it actually directly supports the channel. So if you haven't already, click in the link in the description down below and check out all of the ridiculous sales that are happening on Humble Bundle right now. As of when I'm looking at it, you can get Cyberpunk 2077 for 50% off. You can get Days Gone for 60% off. Horizon Zero Dawn is 60% off and God of War is 20% off and that's just the games that I'm looking at right now. There's tons of other games that are on sale. So if you wanna do me a huge favor, click on the link down below, check out the games that are on sale. And then if you pick any of them up, leave a comment down below and let us know which games you picked up from Humble Bundle. All right, let's get back to the menus. You can see that I've got my menus, uh, my menus set of menus, I named that. And then I have my test one. If you wanna rename one of your menus, you can just click on the little gear and say rename it, okay? Uh, but if I'm going to open that up, you can see that I've got a bunch of buttons and these are just random buttons that I typed in. I just did a bunch of keyboard buttons and I gave them a bunch of icons. And you can see over here on the left, we now have the layout of what it's going to look like. So if I come down here and I add a seventh entry, seven, 
you can see that it now adds a seventh entry and it defaults to like a keyboard button of seven. But if I want, I can go ahead and set that to be, I don't know, whatever that is, okay? A uh, little compass icon. Okay, so now we have that, and uh, I, I could go through and name all of these, but I'm not going to. Let's look at what else we can do here. Um, so touch menu button, touch menu button count. Right now I have it set as same as count. So that basically says I have seven commands, so show seven things here. If I want, I can say set it to nine, and that's gonna leave two blank buttons. Why would you wanna do this? Well, it might just be easier for you to organize things if you've got nine buttons. Uh, and then you could even uh, go back to your commands and you could reorder your menu inputs. You could change what order they're in. And I could take this one that's seven, move it down here. And now you can see where that icon's going to be. This is super, super useful. All right, touch menu activation style. Again, I'm gonna go between, I'm gonna go to release because I find that that is the most useful one. Uh, your on-screen display, same as before, you can increase or decrease the size. You can change its opacity. I'm gonna crank the opacity all the way up. Where is it? Where is it? All the way up to 100% because I find that's the easiest to look at. And then, uh, so then I've got my haptics. I'm gonna crank those all the way up to high because I like to have that feeling of the input. And now if I bring this up, I didn't mean to do that, but if I bring this up, you can see that this is my radial menu. But if I pull the right trigger, hang on, let me close that. Why did that happen? Okay, but if I pull the right trigger and bring up my, my thumb on here, it's going to give me a different set of menus. This is really, really useful. And how did I do that? Well, I recently made a video about how to do this. It's basically, uh, all you have to do is go into, in this case, our trackpad, and I've got a mode shift. I have a whole video about how to do a mode shift, but here's the, the quick version of it. Uh, all you do is you click on that, and you come all the way down to the bottom, and you set it as a mode shift. Oh, it might not work because I already have it as a mode shift, so I'll do the same thing with the right trackpad. So if I click here and I go all the way down to the bottom, I can add create a mode shift. And if I hit that, it makes a duplicate of that trackpad, which is what I've done for my left trackpad. So now my left trackpad, its main menus are all right here. And then the mode shift trackpads are bringing up a different set of menus. You can see what name the menu is and pick it from the list. Now, if I come over to here and click on the gear icon, it's going to tell me how do I actually activate that? Under general, you're going to go to the mode shift button and it says right trigger full pull. You can set this to whatever you want. It can be any, uh, pretty much any input that you desire. I just selected this for an example, right trigger full pull. Although honestly for this game, I probably wouldn't do that because I would probably use the right trigger to do something else. But that is the basics of how you can set up the new menu system with the Steam Deck and Steam Input. This is so much better than it used to be. Uh, it, it's. I think that this is actually better than it was on the Steam controller. I think that this is a much more intuitive interface and it feels fantastic. And it means you can have a ridiculous number of inputs in a whole bunch of different ways to set that up. So what do you guys think of the new UI for radial menus and touch menus on the Steam Deck? I personally think it's fantastic. Let me know your ideas and things that you might change in the comment section down below that like button. And uh, if you're looking for more Steam input stuff, make sure that you check out this video over here. From the Nerd Nest, I'm Bill.